Alright folks, so here I am. I'm thinking about buying a fish. Think about buying a fish from these ladies over here. So we got some yellowfin tuna. So how much is the yellowfin tuna? 180 per kilo, sir. Alright, so we got 180 per kilo on the yes, yellowfin. Alright, how much is that whole fish right there? 1.65 grams. 1.65 grams. 297, sir. Okay, so 297 uh, pesos. So, folks, that's less than six bucks. Uh, that's less than six bucks on that yellowfin tuna. So, uh, question is, should I surprise the ladies with the yellowfin or go with the crab? And what I think I'm going to do is surprise them with the yellowfin tuna. Okay, I'll take it. Or no, no, just, I know you got it. Yeah, just put it in a bag. I want to bring that thing home. Just like that. Folks, oh, that's a good looking fish right there. Well, we need a bigger bag for that bad boy. Now, what is she chopping up? What is she chopping up back there, ladies? What kind of fish is that? She called it it's my Dorothy. Of course, they got some fish over here. And those fish are fresh because they're still jumping. They are jumping. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very much. Okay, folks. And just to show you where I'm at, I'm right here at the. Uh, at the main road, this is a road coming into sawmill. But this gentleman over here got some fish so fresh that they're about to jump off his uh, his table right here. So if you come see these ladies, just tell them that Marco sent you. So, uh, yeah, let's see the. Okay, wow. And how much is that per pound or per 120 kilo? 120 per kilo, sir. All right, so 120 per kilo on that one, folks. Thank you very much. And what, what's your what's your name for the video? Rose, sir. Rose? Yeah. Rose Anne. Rose Anne. Rosemary and Rose Anne. Rosemary and Rose Anne, folks. All right, so come see my friends right here, Rosemary, Rose Anne, and tell them that Marco sent you. They'll get you a good deal on some fish. All right, I gotta go find the Lamborghini. This is getting heavy, folks. I got uh. I got a whole chicken for 179 pesos. And I got some vegetables, this whole sack of vegetables for like 125. I'll add it up when I get in the tricycle here. But this shit's heavy. Especially this damn fish. But I'm excited. They thought they were gonna cook chicken tonight, and I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna have them cook this yellowfin tuna on the grill. And we gotta hit the Lamborghini. And it's time to zoom on back, my friends. Look at that. You don't think this is a Lamborghini? You saw that Lamborghini door? Folks, check that out. You can't see that dude. He's in the hall of that plastic there. All right, folks, so thank everybody for joining me. On the way back, I got me a bottle of Bacardi rum. And I went with that Bacardi because it was 450. It was, uh, it was cheaper than the uh, Jim Beam. I said, you know what, I'm gonna change it up. I'm going with the Bacardi Gold. So just to add it up, what did I say, less than six bucks on the fish, less than four bucks on the bird, around $2, what is that? I got 12 bucks, it's a Friday night, so we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a damn feast. And it's raining. But it don't matter, the lady's gonna fire up that barbecue grill. Thanks for joining me on my little quick shopping trip. Pick up that yellow fin tuna, which I didn't plan to do that. I had to go get some cigars. Oh, I had to get a couple Heineken for uh, this next video coming up. But sometimes when you see, you see something that looks good, you gotta get it. And I saw that yellow fin, I said, oh yeah, pull the trigger on it. So I'll show you when it hits the grill. These ladies, they're gonna be surprised when I pull that fish out of out of the blue. Damn, I forgot the rice. <laughs> she told me.
told me several times, get the rights. I forgot the rights, but I got a damn yellow fan ton. How can you beat that? I demand, do we have ulin? No. Nope. Damn, no charcoal. Do we have onions? No ulin, no. Nope. Well, here, I got, I didn't get, I forgot the rice. What up, ulin? Baby, I gotta go back. I'll, I'll walk up to the sorry, sorry store. All right, baby. Okay, ladies, I got a treat. I didn't get the rice, but take a look in this bag right here, fucking mom. Pull that bad boy out. Pull that bad boy out right there. How much is it? Oh, baby, it was expensive. How much is it? Pull it out, baby. Pull it out. Look at that bad boy. Hold it up. Hold it up for the viewers, baby. Folks, look at that right there. And he's bleeding out a little bit. Get that bad boy over in the sink, baby, where he can bleed out. Watch him. He's, he's still breathing. He's fresh. Like the man looking beautiful. All right, so we got food cooking for the babies. Let's take a look at that tuna right there. You don't honey? Yeah, put that dude on the grill. Do we have any charcoal? Oh, got it. All right, do we have any rice? Nope. Onions? Nope. Okay, I'll be right back, man. I gotta get onions, charcoal, and some rice. But the good news is I did get beer. And I got room. All right, folks, Marissa's cooking the baby's food right here. Well, they're cooking their food, too, but that looks delicious. Marissa, do you like uh, yellowfin tuna? Yes. Is it good or delicious? Both. Both. Good and delicious. Okay, good answer. So we're going to cook that up. Damn it. I knew I forgot something. I got sidetracked. <sighs> Shit happens. I got sidetracked. That's all there is to it. Okay, so what, 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 what do we need? We need coconuts or what? No, no. Huh? You said you're going to grill it, it's okay. Yeah, we're going to put it on the grill. Yeah, so no need no. So yeah. just rice, onions, and what else? Rice, onions, and ulin. Oh, Get the rice. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the same we went with last time. The 52 kilo, it's about a dollar a kilo. Or about a dollar for two pounds of rice. That's what I'm going to go with. Now I got to go with the rest of the vegetables. You got the, the ulin. Uling? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome, awesome. I'm playing this. All right. Okay, there, there's Uling's over there. So I got the rice and the Uling from my friends here at this little shop. All right, folks, so I got five bags of charcoal and I got two kilos of rice. That's 204, that's four bucks right there. I'm at $4. All right, folks. Now here, I gotta get the peppers. I gotta get the peppers. The onions, the tomatoes. We'll see what we get here. I already got the carrots, I think. You know, let's take a look around the corner here at the river. Oh, yeah, it's way up. And there's traffic right there looking back in the Barrio Barreto for a Friday night. So let me see how much I did on this one. 65? All right, so 65 on this bag of uh, this little bag of vegetables. I think there's already something I'm forgetting. Oh, that pork right here looks good too. Thank you very much. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hey. Know this gentleman here. So I'm here buying some bananas. I got some bananas, and are you? You're one of my subscribers. Yeah. All right, so it's one of my subscribers. What, what's your name? Sherry. Sherry. All right, so you you know my wife? Yeah. Ah, okay, folks. All right, so we're here with these uh, fine folks. And you know what? Those those onions look wonderful right there. You know what? Let me let me get uh, one of those onions. Wow, her stuff looks much better over here. Yeah, broccoli. Okay, all right. So what's the total bill? Let's see the total bill and see if I got any money in my pocket left. I gotta see her next time. Vegetables looking 128. good. 120. Okay, 120. Now I've discovered this is where my old lady comes and gets the shoe mine. And let me just show you the shoe mine. Uh, what she's got going on here. 
But the shoe mine, uh, where's the shoe mine? Right in here. Oh, that's the shoe mine. And how much is the shoe mine? Five pesos each. The five pesos each? Okay, give me, let me check my wallet, hold on. <laughs> right, they're five pesos each. I thought it would give me 50 pesos worth. And luckily, since the ladies always come here, she knows exactly what they want. So I did, that was too easy for me. And they love this stuff, folks. And if you got a Filipina, they, they love it. And just to look around, well, what else? She's got the offer here. And she's right here next to where I got the fish. Just right here on the corner. This is the center of gravity for uh, evening. Right here at the entrance to Subic by the river. Entrance to Sawmill. Gonna put a couple things of sauce in there, and the ladies are gonna love me when I show up at the house. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, folks. Now, now I got everything. Got charcoal. I got all the vegetables. Got the ladies some uh, shoe mines to snack while they cook. So it's gonna take them a while to fire up that charcoal, get that fish prep. I got me something to drink. They're cooking the. Uh, Saw they're cooking for the babies, so the babies will get them fed. Get them fed, they'll be playing, and we'll get them ladies out there on that grill with that yellow fin. So it's a good night, Saturday, or excuse me, Friday afternoon here in Far Hill, Florida, right on Subic Bay in the Philippines. I got one last stop to make. Give me a couple sand big lights, and uh, break a bill I got in my pocket where I can. And uh, feed my chauffeur here in this Lamborghini. It's gonna be a good night, folks. So I'll show you the fish on the grill. But this video is by no means finished. It's a typical evening on a Friday night in my world. And wherever you're at, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, great morning, and thanks for watching my video. All right, folks. And while I've been gone, the ladies have uh, show us what you got going on with this fish here, Marissa. Can you? Have you already got it stuffed with the vegetables? No, yeah. I'm gonna put the fish in there. Okay. Shh, it's just a fish, sweetie. Don't be scared. Okay, so so you're not putting the vegetables inside the fish? Nope. You're just gonna grill it just like, like that? Alright, folks. So they just got the fish gutted up and Maria's getting a little bit scared. And what do we have over here? What's in there? The food of the chicken. Okay, let's see what we got here for the babies. Lift that lid up for me, please. All right, so the babies are gonna be eating some type of stew. And we got this dude about to go on the grill. All right, folks, just getting this little charcoal grill fired up here. Hey, folks, got the babies playing. Watching hee haw. They skimmed ugly off it for three days. They love watching Hee Haw. I entered the Mrs. America contest and almost lost her citizenship. Good job, sweetie. You okay, buddy? Watching Hee Haw, folks. Of course, she love a Hee Haw. Yeah, the babies love to watch Hee Haw. Got George Strait on this episode from, I think, 1982, maybe. And folks, if you don't like Hee Haw, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing with your life. I'm chilling with the babies while the ladies are barbecuing. It's a good night, my friends. Easy. Easy, Maria. Easy. Oh, sweet girl, but just be careful. It's on USA. Oh, that's a good job. <laughs> Easy. It's one hundred dollars Oh, so sweet. You give a kiss. Can you give Papa a kiss too? Oh, sweet girl. Come give Papa a kiss. <laughs> All right, babies, that's George Strait. Maria, come over here, that's George Strait. 
Come on, we listen to George Strait. I'm born up from San Antonio. Everything that I got is just what I've got on. Of course, he loves George Strait. Texas guy. I'll be bucking at the county fair. He's a sweetie. Amarillo by morning. Amarillo, I'll be there. They took my saddle and here's to broke my leg in the saddle fair. Lost my wife and a girlfriend somewhere along the way. I got another great new promotional idea. Oh, what is it this time, George? Well, I thought I'd sneak around here and take sexy pictures of you girls in sexy poses. Absolutely not. Just forget the whole thing. Okay, but can I hang on to the ones I already took? <laughs> You know something, Lulu, this is the worst slop I ever had in my life. Well, that's just what you said about my cooking last night, Laverne. Well, I take it back, Lulu. It's the second worst plate of slop I ever met in my life. All right, well. Yay, babe. We got a complaint here. Who's complaining? This here mangy sod buster. <laughs> well, congratulations. You're the one millionth customer to make a complaint. You're a lucky rain trap. <laughs> Is he really the one million? Yep. Before he come in, we had exactly 999,999. Ooh, and 999,000 complaints. You're right. He makes an even million. You're a real lucky low life, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What'd I get for that? You get a mail ticket for all the school for the rest of your life. Well, that ain't no prize. That's a sentence. Well, at least you don't have to live very long. <laughs> Is that all I win? You just shot the moon, Buster. Don't be greedy. Forget it, Idalee. Let's get out of here. From now on, we'll just stay home and you'll eat my cooking. Uh-oh, my second thought. <laughs> Food ain't so bad here after all. Thanks for the prize. I'll be in here every night. <laughs> oh! folks so miss marissa has got that chicken got the chicken going down going on she's got more charcoal going on this little grill oh look at that fish my goodness look at that fish how long that fish been on the grill look at that dude right there and folks we're tracking the catch Keep out of here Y'all can stay at night, but not try to come over here and steal my fish. Oh, what we yeah. got over here, we got, uh, just got some peppers in there. Vegetables getting ready to go. Okay. All right, folks. 
We got it going on over here at the Alamo. Look at that dude. Folks, like I said many times over the past two months, I mean, we are lucky that it's not raining, but like for about 10 seconds, it started raining. We ran over there with the fish. Now we're back. It's just a crapshoot whether or not it's gonna damn come up goddamn monsoon, you know? And we can cook under there, but it gets real smoky underneath the carport and smokes out the neighbors. So we try to, we try to barbecue over here on this little spot, but it's probably about to rain on us and we gotta just get back under the carport. Man, take a look at that. That, that thing, oh my goodness. Eating like kings, folks. Whoa, it's so hot. Oh my gosh. Is that hot? Yeah. You need some gloves? Horse G loves that hee haw. You like hee haw? I know you do. Folks, life is good. Friday night, just chilling with my babies. Life does not get any better than this, my friends. Come on, stand back up, buddy. <laughs> Our big screen is an iPad. Our sound system is a Bluetooth speaker. Life is good. There you go. That's our big screen. That's our surround sound. <laughs> Fourth G stole the R. Stole the R out of there. Maria's ready to get, some, get a nap. She hasn't had a nap all day, Maria. Fourth G, come back with that R, boy. Yeah, easy. Dancing, sweetie, yeah. <laughs> Can't see it because it's on the other side. I went through the other wall the same way. Some gospel music, my friends. Let's rock it. Let's rock the gospel. life get any better than this my friends watching hee haw taking me back to my childhood just just a good I, I don't know just when I hear hee haw just reminds me when I was a kid good old days 
listening to gospel music. It's good, clean, fun. Hanging out with my kids. People ask me what I miss about America. I miss the 70s. I miss the 70s and early 80s. Really, the this, this late 70s. That's what I miss. Back in place. Yes, I'm in the promise with the same. Folks, check out that fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that grill. We got a dog bowl full of grilled vegetables looking delicious. Look at this. Mm. This girl right here is getting sleepy. She getting sleepy, but we gotta go eat that fish first, girl. She can barely hang in there. <laughs> We're gonna eat first, baby. We gotta eat first, Maria. Well, folks, one difference, you know, in America, what you do, you feed a baby a jar of uh, baby food, right? Are you hungry? You must be hungry, because you're getting your chair ready. <laughs> okay, so. Marissa's mushing up, what do we have here? Carrots, potatoes, rice, and what else? Squash? Yes. Okay, so we got rice. Again, rice, potatoes, carrots, squash. And they, they love this. We don't, we don't feed the children over here baby food out of a jar. I feed them fresh vegetables. Sweetie, she's so hungry, she can't wait. She's so excited. These, like I said, these babies, they don't, they don't, they don't eat uh, canned, jar, baby food. They eat real food. And they love vegetables. My goodness. Maria, she's about to start feeding you. Just wait just a minute. Sit down in your chair. That girl's hungry, my friends. My goodness, Maria. <laughs> That's a hungry girl. No, no, you gotta sit down. Sit down. It's chaos on a Friday night at the Alamo, my friends. We'll put Forrest G in this roaster here. It's easy to feed him. Just put him in that little roaster. But usually, one lady, one lady feeds Forrest G. One lady feeds Maria, and then the adults will chow down. So it's, it's feeding time for my babies. Fresh vegetables. We'll probably throw a little fish in there for Maria. And like I said, ain't no can, no jar, baby food, preservatives, artificial color, none of that. They eating real food, my friends. That's right. Of course, G just got a shower. He's looking sharp. My goodness. Hold on, sweetie, it's still hot over there. Let it cool off a little bit. Get touchy. Little bit, it's a little hot. Oh, she's too hot. That's too hot, baby. Mm. Baby, if hers is too hot, you're feeding him too hot. Check that temperature. All right, folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me on a Friday night with my crew, my babies, my ladies, this beautiful, beautiful lady over here, my goodness. God, man, she's 
beautiful. Wife number one. My goodness, got them. Who's that girl with the Daisy Dukes on? Who's that girl with the Daisy Dukes on? Folks, thanks for joining me on a typical Friday night here at my, my place here in the Philippines. This house we're at right now, I call it the Alamo. It was a great night. I want to thank Marissa for her grilling uh, skills out there with this uh, yellowfin tuna, the chicken, the vegetables. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful food that I'm about to chow down. We fed, they fed the babies. The ladies have ate, eaten, eat, whatever the proper grammar is. Miss Maria is getting a bath bath, and then uh, actually Forrest already had one. So the only dog left to eat is the king, and it's time for the king to eat. And a king never eats until everybody in the kingdom eats. And then it's your turn to eat. So now it's my turn to enjoy this food right here over my shoulder. And I, I have been enjoying a couple Heineken. Life is good, my friends. Thank you for joining me on uh, on this video. Hit that Overstay Road sign right there, bottom right hand corner of your screen. Get on board my train, become a subscriber. Thank you in advance for watching my videos. I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, nighttime, wherever you're at on our beautiful planet. I hope you have a you're just having a wonderful time. I'll see you on the next one, my friends. Peace out. Force G, tell everybody good night, son. All right, we're out.